this film really does bring families together. I mean, especially in this second uh, film, it's about Hiccup's uh, relationship with his parents and his mother and his dad, and and the whole family can enjoy it. It's fun. It's adventurous. Part of the the, the journey of the second installment, as as part of the trilogy, is Hiccup realizing that although he feels kind of restless and you know he's 20 he doesn't want to be told what he wants to do uh, he wants to be his own man and the journey is becoming a man of the people you know military families will definitely respond to is is that notion of sacrifice of seeing beyond your your personal needs and, and looking at the needs of your people so what do you think bud you want to give this another shot Whoa. Well, fine. Hiccup's prosthetic leg, the fact that he lost a leg at the end of the first movie, was was a nod to the military. Uh, a lot of people returning home from combat in the Middle East, uh, having sustained injuries that would change their lives, and I think it was so heroic, and we really wanted to present a hero who wasn't slowed down an iota by it, but actually, in Hiccup's case, uh, just being the forward thinker that he is, turned it into the Swiss army knife of prosthetic legs, and so it's actually something that's enviable and kind of cool. Neither of them are unscathed, as any sort of, no, no true hero probably is. And so, I, you know, what I like is that you see that the two of them have been through it, um, and, uh, but that these things aren't, aren't failings, in fact, they become virtues. been waiting to see How to Train Your Dragon 2 for a while, and the fact that they're bringing in a couple of the actors and the director for autographs is cool. Extra bonus. We opened the doors at 5.30, but we already had customers lining up at 4 o'clock in the afternoon for the showing. Uh, this is the first time that we've maxed out uh, the seats and appreciate the USO, Fox, uh, giving the military the opportunity and giving APHIS the opportunity to use our theaters. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thanks for having us. When I heard we had the chance to come to a base to share this film, it felt like such a, such a wonderful gift to us to get to bring a happy, uh, you know, heartwarming and exciting film to the families. He's down! Oh, and it's ugly! Dragons and Vikings! Death. Enemies again! Walking There's a lot of deep and emotional, um, you know, currents running through the film, and, and so it's a wonderful uh, film to bring these military families together so that they can all have a wonderful time watching it, and, and, and hopefully it will continue to, to um, spark conversations in the family. So what do you say? Just keep going. Great story. Really enjoyed it.